right there everywhere. It may be because they are. And Danita, it seems every night we're telling you about new bed bug sightings tonight. There are more schools to add to that list. News Channel 5's Homa Bash joins us from the Live Center. So, Homa, are these bugs really everywhere or does it just seem that way? Well, the Board of Health telling me this isn't actually a huge spike. Bed bugs are a problem they've been consistently dealing with for the last five years. And schools say they can't just shut down every time someone spots one. But here's a look at where they've been seen most recently from Bay Village to Lorraine City Schools and now four schools in Parma, including. Valley Forge. Creepy, crawly, kind of makes you itch just talking about them. It's not a matter of if people are going to be encountering bed bugs, it's a matter of when. The Job and Family Services Complex in Illyria shut down today for a bed bug infestation while extermination crews come in and do a full sweep. One bed bug found in a locker at Bay Village High School. Three incidents reported in Lorraine schools this week. Not infestations there, just incidents. And by incidents, I mean there was one bed bug that was located in a classroom or on a child. And we responded immediately according to the protocol provided to us by the health department. It comes a week after problems in Parma. Bed bugs found in three different schools. Now, for the most part, schools aren't shutting their doors while they sanitize and treat. But parents can keep their kids at home if they want. This is a situation situation that's not going to be going away in Ohio. You can't just keep your child home every time there's going to be a situation like this. It's probably a bed bug. And the pesky parasite's such a problem now, a potential sighting even interrupting an East Cleveland City Council meeting. This room is infested with bed bugs. Oh, no. Okay. I ain't got time for no bed no one does, and bed bugs are big enough to be seen with the naked eye. Now, Lorraine City Schools actually uses a machine that acts like a sleeping person to attract them, but they say the parasites have become so common recently, they're having trouble finding those machines to rent. Schools are working with affected families privately to help them deal.